Welcome yes. back to The Legend of Heroes Trails to Azure, where last time we visited the Doe Studio and then learned of a um, train derailment, and that's where we go now. Ambulance, two ambulances, free. There was ambulances just now? Correct, all of them were registered to send us to the hospital. There were three of them too, damn. Do you suppose they were transporting those who were injured from a derailment? Given the timing, I wouldn't doubt it. Cecil and the rest of the hospital are going to have a long day ahead of them. We have to get to the scene of the accident. Roger that. Buses? As a train replacement, yeah. Because the railroad was blocked. Those buses just now. They looked like the ones used to carry people traveling to and from the Republic. They must be transporting the rest of the passengers that were on the train. Damn, what a shit show. Makes me wonder how extensive the scale of the accident is. Yo Lloyd, you guys made it. Hey Franz, so you're on this case too? Hello there, Noel, Randy. Thank you both for coming as well. Of course, good to see you, Dahlia. Looks like we're in the right place, what's the situation? Commander Bales and the police are currently investigating the scene of the accident. Inspector Donovan and Detective Raymond from the 2nd Division are leading our department's efforts. What I can tell, it looks like a mess. The train went clean off the tracks. It's going to take a long time to get things cleared and repaired. And what are the passengers? No fatalities, thank God, but a few were in critical condition. Those most in need of medical attention were carried away by ambulance a little while ago. Yeah, we saw them on our way here. And the other passengers? They were transferred to buses for the remainder of their trip? Yeah, there was one round of them arranged for passengers headed for Prosper City and another for those going to Altair. It was chaos sorting it all out. I can imagine. It's not every day you have to do damage control for an accident this severe. Speaking of which, we should make our way to the scene ourselves. Are we clear to pass through? Yeah, you should be good to go. I doubt anyone's gonna complain. Feel free to head in whenever you're ready. Dahlia? Dahlia was one on the roof here at... At Belgard, right? She's not the, the other the other girl because I first thought she was the the officer from from Tangram Gate, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense somehow. When this is West Cross the Highway, right by Belgard. The site of a train accident is just past here. Commander Bates and the officers from the police department have been already begun their investigation. Sorry, Franz. Whatever hit the train caused it to go clean of the tracks. I should be thankful there are no fatalities, but it's still going to take time for repairs to be made. You guys are here to help with our investigation, right? Maybe you catch something the others missed? Hey! 
It's not often that we get the opportunity to collaborate with a Guardian Force on an incident like this. The scene of the accident is in rough shape too. As officers of a CBD, we need to do everything we can to help. The second Division's investigators are currently looking into the cause of the accident. Unfortunately, it's going to take some time, but I still haven't pinpointed any specifics. Hard to ignore, but this accident went down right when international tensions are at the highest they've been in years. I can't help but question if it's really just a coincidence. I hope the reporter that just went in doesn't interfere with the repair efforts. Well, it'll probably be alright. She seemed like she had that much common sense at least. Commander Bales oversees repair efforts on site. Make sure to report into her if you plan to join the investigation. Oh no! Oh boy, this some accidents we got on our hands. Do you know what caused for derailment yet? No, as you can see, the investigation is still underway. The current working theory is that the front car was derailed due to a fallen rock on the track. The rest followed suit. My apologies, but I'm going to have to insist that any members of the media leave the accident site. We need to focus on beginning the cleanup and repair efforts immediately. Seriously? But Commander Bales! I understand the police would like to prioritize the investigation. However, this is the transcontinental railroad we're standing on, the most important transit line in all of the Moria. We are under pressure from Mayor Croix, the Imperial Republican governments, and the Railroad Corporation to fix this ASAP. The CGF has no choice but to comply. I get your logic, ma'am, I really do, but. I'm with a detective. If you don't get to the bottom of what happened, it could happen again, right? I'm aware, however, I can only permit that the investigation be carried out concurrently alongside the repairs. Which will be until this evening, by the very latest. This is how long we've been given. We have your machinery we've requisitioned, we'll be arriving soon. We need to. Hold on just a moment. The SSS. Whoa, it's Lloyd the Gang! Ah, you guys came to scrub on the scene too, huh? Please excuse us, Commander. But did you hear correctly? You're going to start cleaning up the accident before a proper investigation can be made? You're still a member of a CGF seeker. I trust you haven't forgotten how vital this rail line is to crossbow. I didn't want to put this so bluntly. But if we delay repairing the railroad, it'll give the Empire and the Republic all the excuse they need to intervene. I know that, but... It's far from an unlikely scenario, unfortunately. Not much I can do to protest against an argument like that. Give me a break, we still have a duty to get to the bottom of this mess. Commander Bales, give us just 30 minutes, no, until that equipment arrives, we get this all sorted out. You? Yes, given Crossbet's current political climate, I'm not ready to charge this accident up to an unfortunate coincidence. Don't you think we should at least determine whether there was any foul play involved? It's also possible that this accident is relevant to our cryptid investigation. Look at it this way. You let us do our thing and everyone walks away with some peace of mind. I never thought I'd see the day when I would be a, the impatient one between the two of us and Orlando. Very well, Inspector Donovan. We will start by prioritizing the investigation of the accident scene. Once the equipment arrives, however, our focus will shift to fixing the rails. We won't hear any complaints from us. Let's do this. And we'll just stay out of your hair while we collect our material? I've got no objection. You're free to look around until the formal repairs begin. On the condition that you're in no way interfere with the investigation of a site. 
Am I clear? <laughs> Crystal! Would you mind if we got a first hand look at the scene as well, Inspector? Don't even have to ask. We'll tackle it together. You should speak with a conductor. He's resting over there. It'll be your best bet. More likely than not. Unfortunately, the engineer got nicked up in the crash and was taken to the hospital. Understood. Alright, let's get investigating. How much longer until we have a machinery we need to move a train cars arrives? Uh, within the next 30 minutes, ma'am. What of the investigation, though? That may take even longer, correct? If we don't get at least one of these tracks ready to operate by evening, I can only imagine the problems it will cause. If, Guardsman, I don't think you have any need to worry about that. The cleanup and repair of what will be completed as planned, when planned. Anything less is not an option. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. There she goes, bring down the jackboot. Well, she is Commander Bales. We should be grateful that she's willing to give us as long as we need for a complete investigation. Let's make it up to her by getting to the bottom of this accident. <sighs> Looking at the scene of the accident puts chills down my spine. You think I'd be prepared for this, working in journalism? Still, it's our job to uncover the truth of what happened. That means I have a duty to snap as many good shots as I can. A picture's worth a thousand words, as they say. Just one of these photos could end up containing vital evidence. Working on a story on an accident scene puts chills down my spine, but I have a duty. What's the word, Lloyd? Do you figure anything out? Nothing yet. What about you, Grace? Do you have any leads that could help our investigation? Well, let's see. I've been thinking about it, and I know these kinds of accidents can and do happen sometimes. But there's something really off about this one. The timing and location are as bad as they could have been. You're right. Not only is an accident this severe rare, it happened while Crosby is in flux over the independence proposal. It caused it to question whether this was something more purposeful than just a twist of fate. I got my suspicions, but they're just that. Wouldn't want to fill your head with baseless hunches. Anyway, good luck with your investigation, and if you find out anything juicy, you better give me the inside scoop. Ha! We'll do what we can. What do you suppose happened here? We were thinking a rock might have rolled down a nearby cliff and derailed the train. Maybe this is where it made impact? The possibility is there given the spherical dent on the side. I don't know about that. How do you explain these giant scratches here in the center then? When you think about it, the position's a lot farther up than you'd expect too. I don't think a simple fallen rock would have left marks like these. If that's the case, then just what did collide with a train? Now have you gotten a good look at this, this was one hell of an accident. The guy to prevent any fatalities. I believe most passengers who were not taken to the hospital were transferred by bus to the Republic. Unfortunately, that means we can't take any statements from them now. Well, that sounds like you're gonna work with what you got. Speaking of which, have you spoken with a conductor yet? He's resting by that rock over there. He was too shaken to remember anything useful when we talked to him earlier, but maybe he's calmed down by now. Make sure you hear what he has to say. We investigated each car as much as we could, just to be thorough. But unfortunately, it didn't turn up anything. No clues to be had. You sure? Not one thing suspicious on a train that large? Not really, it's just a passenger's luggage in there now. Nothing seemed off about any of it. All signs are pointing to the derailment being caused by some external force. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I wouldn't get too close to this train car if I were you. It's holding its balance for now, but it could still tip over at the top of a hat. There's so much glass and debris to clear out. We can't even risk one pebble staying on the railway, so we've got to be thorough and clean all of this up. Conductor? Ah, what a day. I should be thanking the goddess that I'm okay, at least compared to the poor people who got carted away by those ambulances. I've never seen a train fly off a track so violently before. 
You have a conductor, correct? If you wouldn't mind, could you give us your account on what happened at the time of the derailment? Sure, if that's what you want. I'll do my best to tell you how it happened. The detective over there asked me earlier, but I think I was still too shaken to give a half-decent statement. It all happened so suddenly, you know. I couldn't help being a little out of it. That's perfectly understandable with how severe the accident was. We can't expect you to recall every little thing. Any normal person would be in shock after going through something like that. Exactly. As things stand, even the tiniest detail could prove helpful. Do you remember seeing or hearing anything suspicious? Anything at all? Suspicious? Well... Oh, now that you mentioned it? Yeah, maybe... Something spring to mind? It was right before the derailment happened. I was on the comms with the engineer. He just started yelling out of nowhere. I remember him shouting, What is that? Or something along those lines. The accident happened moments later. The front car derailed and the rest of them followed, one after another. And, well, you know how this story goes from there. I'm out here talking to you. Evidently, the engineer was caught by surprise. From the sound of it, you must have seen something you couldn't believe. Which leaves us to one question. What was it that he spotted? Hey Mirei, how is the repair work going? I would say it's proceeding just as well as the investigation is. But until the heavy machinery arrives to help us move the train itself, there's only so much we are able to do. For now, the best we can manage is to clean the debris from the tracks. Figured that would be the case. We could lend a hand if you need it. No, you don't have to put yourself out. The six of you should focus on figuring out what happened. We'll inform you if we discover anything that might help. The call came in about an accident. I didn't imagine it would be something of this scale. It's going to take a considerable amount of resources to get these railway tracks fully refurbished. This whole fiasco really did a number on the tracks. They're all torn up. Touching by the damage, I'd say the derailment started right around here. I can't believe a train ended up blocking both sides of the track at once. I can only imagine how terrified the passengers must have been when they went off the rails. Look at the marks on the cliffside, they're enormous. It looks like a whole surface has been carved into. Part of the ground has been gorged out too. The train must have derailed toward the left hand side. Quick questions. Why do you suppose these streaks in the wall are so blue? I believe those would be flecks of paint. That's gotta be it. You can tell it's the same color as the train cars themselves. After a train derailed, it must have scraped along the rock for a ways, leaving those blue skid marks. No doubt, but uh, look how far along they run. How would the train even stay against the wall for that long? Looks like we might need to rethink the actual circumstances that led to these marks. Yeah, but it's also what I immediately noticed. This is an incredibly long... Look, it, it, it only here is free, so it must have been scraping along the wall and keep scraping. And normally, when, when when it runs against the wall, it would at least the impulse would it would bounce off a little bit. It wouldn't be one line unless it was pressed against the wall. So there must have been a continuous force.
This would be the locomotive, the most essential car of a train, without one it would be unable to move at all. Inside is the engineer's cup and the orbital engine, produced by the Reinford company. That's all very educational and all, but doesn't something about this seem off to you? What's your thing about the same thing? There's not nearly as much damage on it as I would have pictured. You're right, it's a little unnatural considering it's a frontmost car. Think about it, had it collided with something head on, it wouldn't still be this pristine. Whatever caused the derailment must have hit from somewhere else. Yes. Okay, I think we gathered as much intel here as we can. We have? Already? Enough for Lloyd anyway. It had better be enough for him, because I sure as hell haven't connected any dots. I may have put a thing or two together on my end. What's our next step? Should we review the information we have thus far? Yeah, let's do that. We should call over the commander and Inspector Donovan too. So, has your investigation yielded anything insightful? That's the hope. First, I want to address the possibility of a derailment being caused by a fallen rock on the tracks. From our investigation, I believe it's safe to rule out that possibility. Really? Why? I take it you have some line of reasoning to back that claim up? Naturally, you see? Less damage? We found more than a few areas of suspicion during our investigation. But the decisive effect was how pristine the front of a locomotive was. Could you explain further? It's true there's less damage in the front, but what does it prove? Logistically, if a derailment were caused by a fallen rock landing on the tracks, the train would have collided with it head on. For the mass of a high speed train to lose balance and derail, the impact would have to be substantial. If that really had happened, then the evidence of it would be more apparent. Oh, I think I get it! When all said and done, the front of a first car is hardly dinged up at all. So that rules out the initial and most obvious explanation. Indeed it does. That is a fact we can't afford to overlook. In that case, what do you suspect is the true cause of a derailment? At first, I had to consider whether this was possibly the work of some kind of explosive. Explosive? You're saying this could have been a Jäger operation or worse, a terrorist group? I admit, I went wondered that pretty quickly too. That's why I kept my eyes peeled, but as far as I could tell, there weren't any traces of explosives. I would hope not. We'd already accounted for that, and we didn't find anything of a sort either. So after ruling that out, there's only one other possibility left remaining. It was indeed a collision, but not from the front. Whatever it was, rammed itself into the train from the right hand side. Excuse me? Rammed? What, like, on purpose? That's insane! This is starting to sound less like a train derail and more like a car chase. Now I understand. That would explain the dent on the right side of a locomotive. Yeah, here's the way I think it went. First, our unknown culprit landed right next to the train as it barreled down the track at full speed. It was likely the moment the conductor heard the engineer yelling on the comms. After that, the assailant began to run alongside the train before ramming it from the right, causing the dent. The force left the leading locomotive to derail toward the left hand side. But our assailant didn't stop at that. He continued to push the locomotive into the cliff on the far end. From there, the train eventually skidded to a stop, leaving marks on the rocks along the way. As for the cars following behind, they ended up scattered off the rails in every direction. That's my working hypothesis, given what we know right now. 
well done. Yeah, you really are, guys, little brother, you know? Hell, your sleuthing skills may be even better than his. No kidding, guys' style of investigating was less thorough and more instinctive. Hey, watch it, he's ours. And we're proud to have him. Kudos, oh wise leader. Even I couldn't think that far ahead. Very impressive. But let's still leave one question, Detective Bannings. The identity of this unknown culprit. Do you suspect this to be work of some sort of monster? Or was this perhaps caused by another of those recently spotted cryptids? Well, when you look at the facts... We don't know. There's no question a cryptid would have the strength to derail a running train based on our experience. But while I can understand why that would be the most likely explanation, I can't say for certain just yet. I agree. Cryptids have only spawned in the presence of a higher element thus far, and I sense no sign of them. Not to mention we didn't see those blue plants anywhere nearby either. Yes, I'm inclined to agree. However, this only further raises the question of just what it is we're dealing with. An archaism? The society's archaisms are a possible candidate too, though I'm not sure how likely that is. Are they really the type to resort to such drastic and blatant attack? What was that? It sounded like a monster! And it's no ordinary one either, judging by that blood curling cry. Let me scan the area. Activate! Where is it? Where? Wait, it's getting photo quartz ready. We're getting a shot one way or another. You can't be serious, Grace! <laughs> Distance 10 cell got moving. It's escaping to the west. Let's chase after it. Roger, will go. Affirmative. What? Are you out of your minds? The CGF will back you up. No, you should keep working on the cleanup efforts. You have a schedule to keep. We'll go and give chase. If you're certain. I'm not entirely comfortable with it, but we have no other choice. Someone has to be here when the heavy machinery arrives. Stay in contact. If anything happens, we we'll come until your aid. Understood, ma'am. Grace, you wouldn't happen to be planning to come along with us, would you? Well, can't deny that I was considering it. But I get it, the situation seems stickier than usual, so I'll hang back this time. For now, we head back to Cosper City and draft up a breaking report. As soon as we get to the rest of our people together, we'll return to gather some more material. That should be safe enough. Besides, if you guys followed us and got attacked, you might never get a chance to make the report. You can't say that again, I don't know what that thing you're chasing is, but it's gotta be nasty if it causes a whole derailment. You better be careful and come back in one piece. I won't be able to get an interview out of you otherwise. We will. Thanks, Grace. Yes. Alright, let's start our pursuit. First, we need to head west on the highway. Clara, let's go back as a monster. Okay, can we use the car? Um, why would we want to, to go? I guess we could back, go back to Crossbow? Does that make sense? Man, Momo sucks at seeking. Oh, I'm getting sleepy. This was, I probably can't go very far, I think, but... Back, friend called you about what happened, right? 
Yeah, we're about to head to the scene of the accident. Got it. Just give me your payout on the door studio later. Get over it and see what you can do. So, this is probably not the whole city, but I would put a mini exploration in. Let's see how far it goes. And when next real episode, we follow that monster or whatever it is. Anyway, until next time, I'm Mace and don't get lost.